What's up? It's Game Freak, and I got a new video for you on John. Five tips on how to play John. Let's get right to it. So tip number one, what we're going to talk about is Surging Smash. This is a level seven perk. Now, you're going to want to grind your John to get this perk because it is the one-shot John perk. This will allow you to sprint to your enemies and attack them with your heavy attack. This will allow you to kill them. If not, it will stun them for a little bit, and then you can swing your light attacks. I would highly recommend trying to grind John out for just this perk. Secondly, if you are aiming at your enemies, you could actually hold down a button to aim. So no matter where you go, you are always looking at the enemy, as you can see right here. Now, this is L2 on console for PlayStation. It's the equivalent for all the other consoles of L2 on PlayStation. So check that out. On PC, I am unsure what the locking is. If anyone does know what it is, please leave a comment down below letting them know what the PC button is for that. So the next thing you want to do is learn your throwable. See, your throwable has two benefits. The first one is it will knock down the sheriff. This will come in handy. The second one is it can clear out enemies. The only downside about John's throwable is it will kill yourself if you do throw it, let's say, underneath you. You will kill yourself. I'm in the hideout right now, so it won't kill me. But it will kill yourself if you do throw your throwable onto the floor and you are in it. Now, another tip for this, this is an extra tip, is if you are out in the outer edge, let's say right around here, it will knock John down, but it will not kill him. Tip number four, you're going to want to learn how to combo your attacks. You're going to want to switch from light attacks to heavy attacks. And same thing, from heavy attacks to light attacks. Now, it does take a little practice, but you will have enemies dodging and weaving, like Marianne's and Robin's. But there are Tooks as well, and Tooks can parry. Now, this is one thing you want to do with John. So on tip number five, we're going to want to go into training. We're actually not going to want to do find other players. We're going to want to do custom game. Now, here's what I'm, here's the reason why you want to do custom game. You're going to want to go into custom game. You want to put the AI difficulty at easy. And just start it. Once you get into the server, you're going to want to find guards that will melee you. You don't have to find the guards that just will melee you. You could look for crossbowmen as well, but I would suggest to take out the crossbowmen and you'll see why. So as you see, we're in a game right now. This is a custom game. We're going to be going to a guard. We're going to go after guard this guard here. right over here. I'm going to take out the crossbowmen. Now I'm going to have a couple of guards coming to attack me. Now what you want to do is you just want to wait until they attack. So let's focus on this guard right here. And you want to parry them. See that flashing glimmer of their sword? That's when you want to hit the parries. It does take some practice. And you do get the flashing glimmer off the players as well, but it's very hard to notice. And once you feel like you've mastered parrying these AIs, you can go into a lobby and you can just practice on actual players. It 
doesn't matter if you win or lose, if you're just practicing, you are trying to help yourself gain better, get better acquainted to the mechanics of the game, which will help you in the long run. Now, if you do like this video, please leave a like, comment what your favorite part about this video was, and subscribe. It does help out the channel, and I do have more content like this coming out. Thank you.